Sagittarius, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for May 24th through the 30th. So I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And after all of that, I'll be uh, pulling some cards from the universe for you. Uh, these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Saggy, what's up with you? The uh, overall energy for the reading, the Six of Swords, looking for calmer waters, looking for something that doesn't feel extreme, agitated, possibly toxic. Um, in the recent past, you get the Devil, the Hierophant, the High Priestess. Now, those are big-ass cards, uh, big-ass energies. There's definitely a sense of a strong connection that you felt uh, with somebody. Something wasn't quite right about it. Um, I don't know what it was in it. It just carries this energy that doesn't feel healthy to neither one of you, basically. And I feel like you knew that all along. You just, you know, just because it felt intense, just because it felt powerful, powerful it's like, yeah, but you know, anything that's felt that's not right, it can be overcome. And yeah, you know, that could be the case, yes. But this energy was present from the get-go, I feel like, you know, of eh, something's off here. So we'll see when we clarify more about that. For now, it's shown up just like that. In the current situation, you get the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. All right, something's looking like it's building up and it's building up in a beautiful, loving kind of way. So I don't know what it is. It could be in regards to your work. There's a lot of love for the situation involved, basically. And it's coming from you. Uh, I feel like it's initiated from you. You know, where you're opening up your heart to something and the more it builds up and gains some, some sort of shape. Um, it's going to feel like it's, even if it's work, it's going to feel like it's coming both ways. Like it's an equal give and take kind of energy. Like the more you give to it, the more it's going to give to you. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Magician, the Temperance, the King of Pentacles. All right. You're manifesting your own stability, basically. And I feel like it's coming into play. It's coming to fruition for you. There you are. There's your energy. And there's you standing in your power and manifesting whatever it is that you want to create here. This is more in regards to possibly a career, you know, your material world. So let's clarify. Let me clarify the Six of Swords. The Three of Wands, the Star, the Two of Cups. Okay, you're walking away from the desire of you coming together with somebody here in love. I feel like you've been hanging on to this for quite some time. And you're finally stepping away from this. Like, it needs to happen. The two of us need to happen. Well, I feel like you're walking away from that. Let's do the devil in the recent past. The Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Strength card. All right. Okay. So, this seemed to be, maybe it was a marriage, maybe it was what you thought could lead in that direction or what they thought. I don't know. There's, there's definitely a sense of commitment here between the two of you. And it could be created out of thought, out of what one would think. Uh, or it could be the case that that's what it was, but I see a lot of pain in there, you know, and that's not quite healthy. Um, and I feel like there, there needed to be a lot of strength to pull through a lot of situations that brought in a lot of pain. And again, that doesn't feel healthy to you, to them, to anybody involved that's going through pain while trying to sustain a marriage or a commitment. 
Um, to me, at least, it doesn't make sense that someone would hang on to that, but I see it happening, so um, I know it can happen, but that's why the devil is there, basically. Um, to more let me know, okay, yeah, that's, that's the situation. They were hanging on to something that um, was causing a lot of pain to them. For the Hierophant, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords. Feel like you didn't even have much to give anymore but you were still in the situation you were still giving um by the looks of it it all started very very painful and then it kind of transformed or it shifted into this energy of i don't want to give to this anymore but you know since i'm here why not uh now i don't know if this is you this could be the other person tied up to you but there's definitely a lesser energy given to this situation but they're still returning to it returning to it you know there's still no escaping it basically or feeling like there's no escaping it for the high priestess you get the nine of wands the six of pentacles the page of cups see your intuition was telling you all along no this is not happening. Somebody wanted to bring in this energy of equal give and take, of love, of all of that. And I feel like only one person were, was carrying that um, intent. You know, the one that really wanted this, obviously. But it takes two to tango. And that's where this person may have failed to understand that, yeah, it's got to come from the other person too. You know? Um, let's do the Knight of Cups in the current situation. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords. All right. So I kind of see you stepping back physically, possibly from this. Still carrying a lot of love. Kind of still in that space of being open towards this, but pulling yourself out of this. Because I see you starting to take care of yourself, which is telling me that, yes, you're not uh, necessarily in this situation anymore. Because you're not keeping yourself in an unhealthy environment anymore. Uh, or trying to get yourself into a healthier place. There's still love there, yes, but let's do the Seven of Pentacles. King of Cups, Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. It could be that something new is starting here in another direction towards a situation that does look healthy this time around. And I feel like it's not the same situation, you know? If it is, it's bringing to the table a whole new energy I'm not getting it at the same as the same situation though. I see communication back and forth, expressing of emotions, expressing of desires, common desires, you know, of what the both of you want, the both of you need. Let's do the Queen of Cups for the current situation. Yeah. Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands. Yeah, love is showing up into your life big time. And I feel like it's a matter of your choices that brought this love to your life, basically. You know? Uh, it's looking good. It's looking like it's heading, at least it feels like it's heading into a good place. It feels healthy. You know, in contrast with the past energies, it feels pretty healthy. Uh, let's do the magician in the immediate future. Oh, I almost came at you with said you what you're doing here, but the last card saved you. Uh, Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Six of Swords. Because uh, meanwhile, you were possibly still, probably unconsciously, manifesting that past situation back into life. And it's okay if you do it, right? If you know what energies you're seeking out of that, and yeah, you could want it back. Um, but under different energies, maybe. I don't know. Because if you want it back in the same kind of energy, then as I can see there, again, it doesn't look healthy. But the last card saved you, as I said, the Six of Swords. You're stepping out of that energy. You don't want that past energy back. Because again, I see you stepping into something healthier, something better for you. Let's do the Temperance card. 
in the immediate future. <laughs> wow. The death card, the temperance card again, and the emperor. This is the death of the old Saji, the birth of the new Saji, basically. You're showing up as um, a whole different person. You're showing up as you, standing in your power, basically. Knowing what's up, knowing what you want. And not only that, but going to get it. So it's it's kind of like clearly in my face. The old Sag is gone, the new Sag is being born. Let's do the King of Pentacles for the immediate future. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're making things happen. When you step into your new role of the found Saggy, uh, you're going to make things happen here. And it's going to show up in your material world, in your environment, everything that surrounds you, basically. Uh, it's going to take a little bit because it feels like, you know, from the process of this new Saggy into things showing up in the 3D, it's going to take a little bit, but it's going to show up, you know, eventually. And you're the one that's creating all of this. You're the creator of your new life, basically. So, let's see what the universe has. Two of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. That's the Ace of Wands showed up for you as you try to create this new life for yourself. So, Two of Wands again shows up here. Yeah, same kind of energies from the universe. Be patient, it's gonna come, you're gonna see it. This balanced, equal give and take, and I feel like that refers more to you and the universe, basically, what you're putting out there and what the universe is responding with. It's not about people, about this new person, old person, whatever. It's what you're putting out, what you're manifesting, what you're creating. And it's gonna come, it's gonna show up. I feel like you're in the process of waiting for that to show up, basically. So. Nice. That's what I have for you, Saji. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.